Susan, this was an extraordinary conversation. It took place over on the Fox lot uh, on Pico in West L.A. between me and a couple of very excited football fans. On one side of the field, I mean parking lot, the mayor of Cincinnati. On the other side, the mayor of Los Angeles. Opposing teams, let's get along. Aw. And there are more hugs with the referee. I mean the news reporter. It seems like you guys get along pretty well. Which is amazing because this is the first interview where these two political leaders have stood side by side in person to talk Super Bowl. You would have thought they'd been friends since kindergarten. So who's going to win? The Bengals are going to win. Never heard of them. <laughs> who that? Who that? Who day? Now, now you, you guys made a bet. We did. Part was about jerseys. Oh, what size jersey do you wear? Uh, I'm a large. And, and you? Medium. The losing mayor wears the winning team's jersey. Then there's the good-hearted part. We wanted the winner to do something for the losing city, just as we saw Kansas City do for the Buffalo Bills. When they beat Buffalo, they had fans that were donating to the Buffalo Children's Hospital. Inspired by that, we're going to do the same thing. So um, I'm hoping that the, you know, Los Angeles people will be very generous and give a lot <laughs> to the Cincinnati Children's Hospital when we win on Sunday. We'll get back to that abundance of confidence, and they both have it. Just like Joey Burrow, we've got that Cincinnati swagger. They were asked to show up at the Fox Studio lot at a Super Bowl reception for members of Congress. But they checked in with me first. I must have been a great warm-up audience. Mayor Aftab Purval says if the Bengals win, Cincinnati kids get the day off from school on Monday. Garcetti's come back. I really care about the education of Cincinnati kids. <laughs> I'd really like them to be back in school on Monday. But if they insist after a loss and not going to school, I think it's a learning day where they should replay the tape, see what they can do next year better. They talk about championship parades. I think if you look at a Cincinnati celebration, it's cold. A Los Angeles one is warm. That's the main difference. Yeah, but the other main difference is ours is attended, whereas the Los Angeles pep oh, yeah, rally, yeah. the games, the celebrations, not so well attended. Sure, because he mandates the kids are not in school or they, <laughs> they have to be at the celebration. You know, if you don't want to do this mayor thing, you can take this show on the road. <laughs> We're we are having a lot of fun. Super Bowl day will be special for both. When Garcetti was eight years old, the Steelers beat the L.A. Rams in the Rose Bowl a long time ago. So I went with my dad. Former D.A. Gil Garcetti is now 80 years old. Broke my heart watching them lose. So I took him in 2018 to Atlanta uh, to be able to, you know, right that wrong. Again, another loss. The two will be together at Super Bowl 56. Okay, how about a little team spirit now? Hey, you want to say go whatever? Who day? Who day Bengals? Whose house? Ram's house. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, those guys ought to have their own TV show. Talking about shows, big show over here at the Peterson Automotive Museum today. It, it was a taste of the NFL, food, fun, football. We'll give you a look behind the scenes of that one coming up on the half hour. In the Miracle Mile, I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News. Susan, back to you.